Vladimir Putin warns he will use nukes against West in lightning fast strike if anyone interferes in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin has warned he will use nuclear weapons against the West if anyone interferes in Ukraine. The threat comes as the Russian leader said the response to counterstrikes will be lightning fast. Putin threatened he will use nuclear weapons. Speaking to lawmakers he said, if someone intends to interfere in what is going on from the outside they must know that constitutes an unacceptable strategic threat to Russia. Madlot appears to be referring to his six super weapons including Russia's deadly Sarmat missile, dubbed Satan II that was launched last week. The tyrant continued by saying Kremlin can allow an anti-Russia to be created on Russia's historical territory and added that Ukraine was can allow an anti-Russia to be created on Russia's historical territory to attack Crimea and Donbas. It comes after Russia threatened to strike military targets in the UK after Britain supplied weapons to Ukraine. Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zaharova said the hits could be authorized against NATO member states. It comes as pro-Putin TV anchor Vladimir Solovyov threatened to blow Boris Britain using the deadly 16,000 miles per hour Satan 2 nuke, over the UK's support for Ukraine. Russia successfully launched the missile earlier this month with Putin warning the test was food for thought for those who try to threaten Russia. Meanwhile, Russia's foreign minister warned a nuclear world war is now a real danger as British and NATO weapons are already legitimate targets in Ukraine. Russia has threatened to strike targets in the UK credit, AP. Russia said the attacks could be authorized against NATO member states. An apartment block shows damage caused by a Russian missile strike in Odessa, southern Ukraine credit, Getty. In a chilling message, Sergei Lavrov said the risk of World War III is now considerable, saying the West is essentially fighting a proxy war against Moscow via its support for Kyiv. Lavrov accused NATO forces of pouring oil on the fire by pumping weapons into Ukraine. And the war hawk said weapons shipments from Britain and other NATO countries would be a legitimate target, reiterating what Russian commanders have said previously since the invasion at the end of February. Lavrov accused the West of deliberately attempting to wear down the Russian army and exhaust their ability to make war, something the minister bullishly said was then wear down the Russian army. Western countries have been supplying aid, weapons and equipment to Ukraine, stopping short of sending troops or imposing a no-fly zone. Britain has been supplying anti-tank weapons, anti-air missiles and plans to send storm or armored vehicles to help them fight against Russia. He said, NATO, in essence, is engaged in a war with Russia through a proxy and is arming that proxy. Ukraine's Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba described Lavrov's comments as a sign of Russia's weakness. In a statement on Twitter, Kuleba said Russia had lost its last hope to scare the world off supporting Ukraine. Armed Services Minister James Heapay told the BBC, Lavrov's trademark over the course of 15 years or so that he has been the Russian Foreign Secretary has been that sort of bravado. Heapay also said it was completely legitimate for Ukraine to use British weapons in attacks on Russian infrastructure. In response, Russia's Defense Ministry said, we would like to underline that London's direct provocation of the Kyiv regime into such actions if such actions are carried out, will immediately lead to a proportional response. He said Vladimir Putin's regime is only adding to its pariah status by threatening other countries, including by shutting off gas supplies to Poland and Bulgaria. It comes as earlier today a Russian ammunition depot in the Belgorod region exploded in a suspected strike by Ukraine. Ukraine has not confirmed the strikes, but video appears to show anti-air missile being fired in the area. Moscow's ambassador to Washington told the U.S. to halt shipments, warning that Western weapons were fueling the conflict. Putin's new war aims to focus mainly on the east, and more troops have been sent there for an assault on two provinces. While focusing on the east and south, Russia has also been targeting other parts of Ukraine with missiles and airstrikes. The Russian new intercontinental ballistic missile Sarmat